Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us begin to thank him. Let us begin to worship Almighty God. Let us begin to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Let us begin to worship him. Father, Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. <clears throat> the I am that I am, the beginning to the end. Father, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Let us begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to worship Him. He is so good. He is so kind. There is no doubt God like Him. Oh, Holy Spirit. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. The King of Kings, let us begin to worship Him. Let us begin to worship Him, brethren. Begin to worship Him now. He is so mighty. He is so great. He is so wonderful. Oh, Ribobo Setarababa. Oh, Father, Lord, King of Kings, we thank You. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him, brethren. Begin to thank Him. Let us begin to worship the King of Kings. Let us begin to worship the King of Kings. For everything that he is doing right now, in the name of Jesus, Mason Torobo Kete, Liba Baba Baba, Oh Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am, Father Lord, you are worthy. The great man of war, begin to worship him. Begin to worship him, brethren, as we are worshiping before we start, fully begin to praise his name. Begin to share, begin to share. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, begin to share. La son torobo, re kata li ba 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 ba. Oh, Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Father, Lord, we appreciate everything that you do in our life. Father, Lord, we appreciate you. You are so good, oh Lord. You are so kind, oh Lord. Eh, li ba 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 ba. Ma Santa Rabake Tolobo Zindarabasite. Oh Father, you are mighty. You are mighty, Lord. You are mighty, Lord. The mm -hmm. I am that I am, you are mighty. You are so mm -hmm. great, Lord. You are so great. You are so great. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to worship him, brother. Begin to thank him. There's nothing he cannot do. Whatever he say he will do, he will do. It's a God that never fail. He never fail. He never fail. Ma sin torobo rika dalabasende. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We worship you. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. In a time like this, begin to worship him for everything that he has done in, in your life. Begin to worship him. He is so mighty. He is so great. Oh, Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank him. Open your heart. Open your heart to begin to thank him. Say, Father, Lord, we appreciate you. Father, Lord, we thank you. Eh, hey, ba 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 ba. Oh, son, Torobo Kete. Holy Spirit, begin to move your power. Begin to touch your people. Father, Lord, we thank you. Rakata libobo zendaraba. Hey, he can't to worship him, brother. Father Lord, we thank you. Take your pen and paper. Oh yes, sir. 
Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. He is so wonderful. He is so wonderful for a time like this. Begin to thank Him because you are safe. Waking up alone is too much. Say, Father, Lord, I thank you for waking me up. Hey, Father, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Ribobo say Taraba. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty Lord. You are wonderful. You are wonderful Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, come and have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Come and have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your power begin to speak. Father, Lord, we thank you for what you are doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for saving us in a time like this. We thank you for shutting the mouth of the lions. Father, Lord, we thank you for protecting us from this coronavirus. We don't have the power. You are the one that is protecting us. Father, Lord, protect us. Father, Lord, protect us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Whatever sins that you have committed, Father Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, Father. Father Lord, we are pleading for your mercy. We are pleading for your mercy. Father Lord, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins. Whatever sins that we have committed, God knowing and not knowing, Father Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us. Father Lord, we're pleading for your mercy. Begin to plead for the mercy. Say, Father Lord, we plead for your mercy. We plead for your mercy in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy begin to speak for us. Let your mercy begin to speak for us. Where we don't have a voice. Let your mercy begin to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we hope in you. Who hope in you will never stumble and fail. Father Lord, protect us. Protect our children, our household. From these places that is going around in the world. Father, Lord, separate us the way you separate the children of Israel. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel death, I cancel sickness away from our life. Father, Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you. King of kings, we thank you. Father, Lord, we thank you for everything. Father, Lord, King of kings, we gather here today. It's not by our power, but by your power. Holy Spirit, have your way today. Speak to us today, Holy Spirit. Open the eyes of our understand the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, touch us where we need to be touched. Touch us where we need to be touched, Holy Spirit. Rababa zindiribi kata zita kata. Lebobo zikata ribobo. Father, Lord, touch your children. This was, distance is not a barrier. Father, Lord, touch your children. Touch them where they need to be touched. Begin to appreciate them. Some people, they die this minute. Things are happening. Lots of people are happening. Some people vanish out of this world. Some people's life are ending now. Some people are in the hospital fighting for their lives. Some people cannot even hold their phone and come to live with you. Father, Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Father, Lord, we thank you for the self-deliverance that you are going to do right now. We thank you for the self-deliverance. Father, Lord, come and deliver us. Father, Lord, come and deliver us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Le Papa Sitaraba. Begin to share, brother. Begin to share. Begin to share. Begin to share. May God bless you as you share. Invite someone. Invite someone. Masoto Robobo Sita. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. E Robobo Sita Raba. I welcome everyone here. I welcome Sister Juliet. I welcome Brother Mike. I welcome Sister Tina. 
I work on this time, you know. Work on this time. You know, Ata, Osavier, God bless you. Sister Tasha Brown, God bless you. Uh, great evangelist, woman from God from Toronto. We God bless you. Brother Osasco, God bless you. Mommy from uh, London, Sister Tina, God bless you. Uh, Omo Arosama, God bless you. Omar Afat, God bless you. Afe Nawa, God bless you. God bless you. If I didn't mention your name, don't take it personal. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God will bless you and touch you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that you are lacking, you will get it in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As you all know, my name is Prophet Zora Aresi. I'm preaching from Edmonton, Alberta. The time now is 3.40 p.m. In the afternoon. May God bless you. May God bless you. Today we are, we are doing self-deliverance. We are still dealing with the uh, power of the marine. Well, that is what we are, we are still praying about today. I pray that Almighty God will touch you in the name of Jesus. We are doing deliverance against pattern spirit, against appetite spirit. That's what we are doing today. Amen? Amen. So if you have your pen and paper, you can write it down. The one that applied to you, write it down, then use it to play. Pray. Amen? Amen. So I'm going to read Matthew 12, 43. Matthew 12, 43. He said, when the unclean spirit is gone of a man, when the unclean spirit is gone of a man, that is when the, those powers, those marine spirits, whatever the enemy has put in the person, when he's gone out of the person. He said he weakened through dry, he said he walked through dry places, seek rest and find it none. Then he then said, I will return into my house for whereas I came out. And when it came, when it comes, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taking with him seven other wicked more spirits to himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And last, the man is worse than the first. Even so shall it will be also unto his wicked generation. So we are doing self-deliverance today. That's why I read this Bible verse. Thank you, woman of God, for writing it out. You know, it said when you are delivered, that spirit is out. When that spirit is out, you have to maintain your deliverance. Because I see when people come, a great man of God, God bless you, sir, brother Jerry, they see come and see be a self-deliverance all over again. So when you are delivered and you did not maintain that deliverance, that spirit will not go. It will be when the spirit is not cast out of the person. So the spirit now will go. When it go, it doesn't see where it entered. Then it will not come back to the person and check. When he see that everywhere is neat, then we, he will not go and bring more seven wicked demons to enter the person. It takes this grace of God for that person to be saved. That is the reason you need to maintain your deliverance. Because some people, they are still repeating, repeating, repeating one deliverance, one another, repeating, repeating, repeating. And I pray that the deliverance that you are going to do here today is a self-deliverance. Any deliverance that you're going to get today, it shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I move on, if you have not given your life to God, if you are backslidden in any way, wherever you are, distance is not a barrier. Thank God we have a God that is everywhere at the same time. Say, Father, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Whatever sins that I have committed, both knowing and not knowingly, Father, have mercy. Father, Lord, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I have chosen you as my Lord and my God and my Savior. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to read Acts 16, verse 16 to 18. Acts 16, verse 16 to 18. Brother Ken, God bless you. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, he sent it himself, possessed with a spirit of divination, divination, which brought her master's much gain by short saying, the same by so saying, the same followed Paul and us and Christ, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. These servants are the servants of the Most High God, which show us the way of salvation. And he did, and this did, she may say, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her right now. And it came out the same hour. You see? So Paul was praying for this demon possessed damsel. So he commanded that power to go out. Because our Lord Jesus Christ, our Master said, We will do more than what he did if we believe. Amen, amen. So if you believe, he will do more than, you will, we will do more. Amen, amen. God bless you, man of God. Uh, the Jackson, great evangelist, a great prophet. May God bless you, sir, for coming in. So because why people are not getting their deliverance? Because they you know they see go back to the sin, go back to the sin. Like the Bible verse I read, that demon will come back with several wicked ones. So it's good for you to maintain your deliverance. So like I said, take your pen and paper. We're going to go, go in and go in and begin to deep dig. Amen, amen. Today is day four. Day four. Or dismantle the power of the marine spirit. Amen, amen. So I'm going to read Ephesians 6, 12. He said, for we, everybody know this one. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. Thank God Jesus Christ is the head of principalities. Because when God was create, creating this world, when he go down into the dark places, you see all powers that were sitting down in the high places. So he created a big light. So when this great light appear, all the darkness, they disappear. And I pray for you today, every darkness in your life, in your in your career, in your destiny, I command that darkness now to flee right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1, 9, And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. So if you have that, if you know that God is going to deliver you, I was telling some people, when God... You are not too sure. You are not too sure when God, that God is going to do it. God doesn't work with you when you are not sure. God work with you when you are sure. Amen, amen. You people know about the story of that man that when he came to meet Jesus Christ, that soldier came to meet Jesus Christ about the, the, the servant that was sick. Jesus Christ wanted to follow him. Say no, you don't need to follow him. Just say it and it will work. So today, when you say today is my deliverance, and that deliverance, you're going to get that deliverance in the name of Jesus. Job 5.12 He disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And I pray today every power that is fighting you, that is contending with your destiny, I command them now to lose their hold this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Because there is no negotiations. They must lose their hold. Every serpentine spirit, every every pattern spirit from your father's house, from your mother's house. I command them now to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for inviting people. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The pattern spirit we are talking about, this pattern spirit. You know, when you are telling some people, 
you are telling them, please don't call me. I don't want distraction. We'll talk after this. God bless you. Amen. So people call me. I don't know how they want me to leave the video and, uh, and they are here looking at me. God bless you. I cancel distraction in the name of Jesus. So this Python spirit that we are saying, some people that don't believe. For a few days, I we were praying. It doesn't mean that we are not going out. We are not still doing deliverance. We are still doing it because the power, the prayers that you started, you will finish it. This person, the snake actually come and talk to the person. Things are happening. Things are happening. The person was telling me, say, ah, I didn't know that you were like this. So. I didn't know you can pray like this thing will begin to happen. We are friends, you know. Don't don't uh, fa be familiar with grace. You understand me? Uh -huh. So this Python spirit is an ancient dragon known as Lucifer. This ancient uh, Python spirit that we are talking about, that is the serpent that was first of first appear to Adam and Eve in the garden. It has so many agents. I'm going to go by small, small. Take your pen and paper. So people want to come and ask uh, Prophet and small question. Take your pen and paper. Pray for the one that applied to you. It's not every prayer you will say amen. The one that applied to you. So this serpent is the dragon known as Lucifer. The Satan. And the seed of the woman are the children of God. The seed of the woman are the children of God. The python belongs to the classes of serpent. To fight the seed of the woman and to bruise them in various ways of their life. How is he going to bruise them in different ways of their life? He destroyed marriages, financial trouble, not receiving favor, close heaven, failure, disease. That is what he's doing. He doesn't want somebody to be happy. When somebody is happy, we will be grieving when somebody is happy. Just look at uh, Adam and Eve, the first uh, uh, people God created. They were happy in the Garden of Eden. Eden. He, he made something to happen by all means that he removed them from that promised land. If you read it, it's good to it's go deep to the Bible. They were chased out of that place. A, an angel was put there to make sure that they did not end, enter there. Man of God, you know what I'm talking about. Women of God, you know what I'm talking about. That they should not enter there. That is the way serpentine spirit deal with people. If we first of all put them, they will be enjoying doing all kind of things. I said it the other day. Don't look at all believers that they have money. You want to start running after them. You don't do that. The problem that they are fighting, that money they are not even enjoying it. Somebody who don't even have money. Somebody who don't even have money. Is if civil enjoy more than them, what is the need? What is what is the need? You have money, you are not enjoying it. When God gives you money, it will, will it will not ask sorrow now. That is the way our God work. You understand me? Don't look at this person buy lessons. You you are crying, you want to buy lessons. Do you know how you get that lessons? You need to be careful. When God gives you lessons, that lessons will be permanent. Amen. Jesus. We need to be careful. So he chased them out. So this Python spirit, you know, we have prayed it before. Maybe you forgot now. So as we are doing uh, this uh, deliverance of the marine spirit, then I still bring it on again. They just coil down there, waiting at the right time to, to strike. Amen, amen. So if you, if you carefully read the book of Revelation 12.12, 12, because I do a study about the book of Revelation, like I'm still doing it. I want to know because I wonder when somebody com converted, let them know about Jesus. Let them know that it's not uh, uh, butter and bread. Then let them begin to read the book of Revelation. And maybe I'll be coming out later to talk about this uh, something that is going on because somebody said they see her inside the Bible. You know, they want to tell me about it. I said, no, I cannot be deceived. Because this time, if you read the book of Revelation, it tells us that we should not be running after them now. We should not be running after them. Even the Antichrist, they say permission. If you read, man of God, man of God, they just say, I know you know, we have talked about this thing before. When you read the book of Revelation, there's a permission 
God is going to give to Antichrist. The Antichrist have not arrived. There's a permission we give to him. He will do whatever he wants to do in this head. That is the time you have to hold on to God. You have to hold on to God. They say they see hair inside the Bible. They pray, they put the hair inside the inside the, the water they drink. I'm just telling you, my followers, maybe we reach you. Don't ever do it. Because anything that's not a discussion, I don't do it. Because our God said, when one hair removed from our hair, we know. Why God will not come and remove your hair, put it inside the water and drink? No, don't run, follow them. This coronavirus, wherever it's coming from, it's a kind of judgment. If what wants to end now, it will just end. This is the way we just be. Hey, hey come on. When Jesus Christ is coming, it's not going to hide. When the prophet, the, the, the trumpet is blow, it's not going to hide. Everybody will know. So you have to be careful. This is the time they are using to initiate people. That's why I don't want to talk about, you see, talk about it. You see, the way pastors are even the problem of this uh, coronavirus. I know we'll see, I'm talking about but that's also give small advice. They are even the problem. This one said this one. The God said this one. Our God is not a confucianist. Our God, when he says something, he will tell you this one. He will tell you that one. When Damascus, uh, at the same time, Paul had a vision. Paul had a vision. Now, so some pastor just the food is my life. Ah, uh-uh. Now, wow, you know, Paul had uh, uh, so had a vision, and Anna has a vision at the same time. That vision is a go and meet Anna to lay hands on you so that you will see to restore your sight. Then Ananas was still getting that same vision that this man is coming to him. So my God can my God cannot tell uh, uh, Joe Sotti uh, different thing. He go and tell Paul this thing. Go and tell him no 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 no. He doesn't do that. So we have to be very very careful. You see the confusion that Satan caused for the world. White people make investigation. They don't see who say go and be buying tissue paper. You see the way they are beating people. They are beating people because they say don't come out. Some uh, president, prime minister, lions, so bring out a different variety to harm people. You see the slavery. This is what Jesus Christ came to die for us for, so that we will not be in this slavery. People are putting themselves in captivity in another slavery again. They are beaten. When I see them, I just hear tears. They beat them so, so they beat them. You serve your God. Obey the law of the land. When you obey the law of the land, then you will go pray. God will protect you. When Jesus Christ was in the synagogue, they said they should pay money. Because say, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. He told his disciples, say, go and bring that go to that river, you see a fish, more there's money inside, cut it and bring it and pay. So let them not let us ignorance begin to hold us. Please, this uh, you open your Bible, hair enter, and all those things. Don't do it because a lot of people are going to be marked. As I'm here, I'm still going at the prayer that we have prayed. Hey, like if heaven wants to come down, it will come down. So when person somebody come to talk to me like this, I will not take it because I am one of the anointed one. I am one of the people God choosing for this end time battles. So Zeta can use somebody to come and talk to me. So whatever that is not in the scripture, don't do it. When they tell you if you have any question when it concerns the Bible 24-7, I am there to answer your questions. Amen. God bless you. Let's go on with what we are saying. So don't run with don't run with it, okay? Don't run with it. Read your Bible. What is there? Man of God told me, he said, uh, what can he do? He said, because he's confused, don't know how to serve God. I told him, I said, what you will do, if somebody tell you something, go to the Bible. If it is not, then don't do it. Okay? Because our God is not a confusionist. When God, uh, uh, great man of God, uh, Jason, he said, uh, this is uh, what is going to happen. He will come and tell me the same thing. As he's seeing the vision, you know, he will be showing me, he will be showing Sister We, you know, we will, all of us will just be seeing this, the same vision at the same time. I was seeing one revelation here. Somebody actually is a person of God who wanted to come and attack me. I was seeing the, the vision here. Another man of God sees it immediately.
Definitely just test me. That's how God was. Don't follow them. God bless you. So, in Revelation 12, 12, you will discover that the serpent is destined to fight the seed of a woman. Who is the seed of a woman? Me and you. You understand me? He's destined to fight the seed of the woman. Amen? So, the Bible even call her her. This marine spirit and everything. Evil call her her. I pray my book that is going to come out soon. That book, you will find out a lot of things. Amen? Amen. And the Bible says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great words, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. You see, this is what I just have not even read it. You know, you already know that he has a short time. You know, when the source Christ is coming the first time, I'm, I'm indicating you now because I do the study, like real study. When the source Christ is coming, it's not going to hide. When he's coming for the first time, not when he come, he come and say, baby, they beat him. This time he's coming as a lion. When he come for the first time, he will come for the church because bad things are happening in the church and the pulpit. So it's coming there. You see the confusion they call for pastors, even big pastors. They are making mistakes because he said the last days, the very elect will be deceived. Jesus Christ did not even know when it's coming. All those things they are doing with Gogo, hey, appear for here, appear. all those things and in Revelation. I will want you to study the book of Revelation. But I don't see pastors they preach the book of Revelation. They don't preach it. I don't know why. Amen. Amen. So the spirit of Python is a source of witchcraft and divination. Python spirit is from the marine kingdom. It is a stubborn spirit that has power to stay and glue in a person's life for a long time. They actually stay there and glue in a person's life for a very long time. And they are very difficult to kill. They are very difficult to, to send away. You know, before you divorce them away from your life, Oh my God, you really need to pray. If that kind of lukewarm person, pray today, not pray tomorrow, you have to take the battle to the enemy's gate before you can really divorce yourself from those powers. Amen, amen. And I pray today, as you are here today, anyone that is hearing the sound of my voice, you are divorced from the spirit of pattern, serpentine spirit, and their agent right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit behind the pattern is being obtained from the water spirit. That is where they come out. That is where they, they operate from. Power of darkness. They said they don't know where this lady come from. You know? So that is where they come from. They hide there because human beings cannot stay inside the water. So that's where they have their sea, everything, their, their houses and everything. You know. So they hide there and they cause many setbacks and uh, many setbacks on the children of God. So they do all kind of things, marriages destroy somebody, some marriage, some people, they even do hair. They are very pretty. Their husband don't even notice that they do hair. You understand me? It causes late marriages, you know, arrest the children, arrest everything in that house. You know, that is what they do. This demon python can enter a person through family pattern. It can enter a person through family pattern. Rivers and other bewitchment and fornication. If I said it, people would be laughing. Marriage before sex is dangerous. If you are doing it before sex is dangerous, you need to stop it now and go for deliverance. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. we, we do all those mistakes before. We don't do it again. So they, that's how we entrap uh, people through sex and all that. And family pattern. Like I said yesterday, we were here. Any covenant they make in a foundation, serpent pattern must be present because those are the people that, you know, carry the foundation, make things to be happening the way they want it. That because our forefathers, our foundation, they don't have that sense. That time they were ignorant. So with all those things, they use it to, manipulate them and it will disturb their children some people can also be attacked through the uh, any types of clothes the way you are dressing dress a very sexy you dress very sexy uh, you know punk here punk here color your hair and all those things we used to do that in all those things you know you know collecting gifts from different places 
your dresses matters a lot. If you read your Bible, everything I said is in the Bible. The Bible said dress moderate. You need to dress moderate, moderate. because you know, you see some people now they carry their children book for Facebook. If they the small girl, they paint, they do with them. That is, you, you have, they have already invited to their, to the, to the child. You understand me? And if you have a girl, dress the girl very nice. You know that's why you see some girls they are not able to their age they run away from home because their appearance is the cause of it. Dress it. Don't even then you go and be pay me hair. Even a boss say don't pay me a child head. It's not good for the brain. You understand me? Do we want for the child? Come here, what can necessary in the car and everything. You are the cause of your problem. You understand me? The stubborn spirits are contagious. That is, they can transfer from person to person, spiritually and physically. They can transfer from person to person. Some people that don't have it before. Because you because you have in a danger zone. My, my father in the Lord always says, say, don't go and enter if not enter danger zone eh, is very, very bloody. You can actually transfer from a person to person. John Abos, God bless you. Gomez, God bless you. You know, you can actually transfer from a person to person. Like people that go to club as this all the time, it's easy to transfer to them. People that work in the night. It's easy to transfer to them. You understand me? So it's a great challenge if you have this kind of presence, this kind of uh, pattern in your life, and you don't know it. You are just carrying it up and down. You understand me? Because of art of ignorance, they say it is not happening. You know, it is happening. It is happening. Uh -huh. Like I said, as we are praying this week, the snake actually come and speak to the person. Amen, amen. So, because it will, because it will prevent you from many things, such as marriage, you know, enjoy marriage. Because why they are attacking marriage? I'm always saying marriage, marriage, marriage. Because marriage is a union. God is God created that union. He is the head of the house of your house. Then He wants us to multiply and take dominion possess our possessions but satan doesn't want that to happen he want to you know he want to wipe out the things that god created but god wants us to multiply you see all those gay that is happening gay and all those things those are the works of satan so that people will not multiply you know financial problems so people they have financial problem eh? ah, ah. this financial problem is not ending no it's not ending. They have financial problem. And I pray for someone here today. Every financial problem, I break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know? So, even, you know, if you see where husband and wife are fighting today, it's war. Those are people that say they love each other. They begin to fight. Maybe the man have married spirit. The woman have married spirit. They will begin to fight. They will begin to fight. Saying things that is not forgiving, things will begin to happen. I had a revelation one time. This is a revelation. God take me there spiritually. Holy Spirit took me there spiritually. There were people that were in their back. One because of one particular person, I went there, but a lot of people were delivered. Amen. So this person know that I'm seeing, I'm seeing the forehead. The person just stand normally. But I was seeing the forehead of that person. There's a snake in that forehead. He has another two eyes on the head. When he see that I saw it, was very angry. Very angry. He came out wanted to attack me. Then when I when I when I speak some Bible verse, I read it and I say, by fire for Almighty God. I say, I cut off your head now in the name of Jesus. Because my, my father, Jesus Christ, bruised your head, you know, cut off your head in the name of Jesus. So, that was it. We need to know that all those things are happening. It's happening. You know, don't let them hold you, grip, don't let them hold you before you start fighting. It takes the grace of God. If it is a man or woman of God who doesn't have time, 
because a lot of us are this deliverance ministry it's not it's not, it's not many uh -huh. when they when they fight some kind ah when they attack oh i bet me carry a problem go i don't know i don't know i take that time i beg i don't feel do that kind of thing that's why you see that they run away amen amen for example if you are constantly dreaming of a snake then it's you know that there's a python spirit that is working against you you understand me if you if god open your eyes if you see all those things you know there's a reason why god don't open some people's eyes because they see some things on your fence you understand me uh -huh. and i pray that god will give you that uh, that courage amen amen if you come from a family of idol worshipers your family they are worshiping idol you don't need to say no there is a pattern spirit that is pursuing you amen amen so you know that there's a pattern spirit that is pursuing you so you need to pray renounce those idols of your father's house and your mother's house let me be putting music so that it will be sweet when we are saying it you know so there's a pattern spirit that is pursuing you amen amen uh -huh. So there are some tribes in Nigeria where they don't kiss snakes. Even in, in like India, they don't kiss snakes. They worship even the Indian people. They are shaking. They are talking. They are shaking their head. They don't kiss snake because it has hold them ransom. There's nothing they can do about it. If by the time you know, devil is not strong. Devil is very very. It, this devil is so afraid. When you know the secret of the devil, he flee. There are some pictures I want to put in my book. You know, there's a, a marine a queen of the coast. You know, women that have marine power, they want to dominate their husband. There's also the exact picture that I just sent. Somebody just sent it. He just sent it to me. There's also a king of marine. Those ones are hiding behind the scene. Those are the ones that is attacking the women. Amen. So get ready. My book will be coming out soon by the grace of God. So when the Python spirit is operating in your life, there will be an hindrance. Hindrance will be a, you know, it will be, the hindrance will be too big. You know, in every area of, of your life, you need deliverance. Even if you are drinking water, you need deliverance. If you are walking, you need deliverance. If you are sleeping, you need deliverance. You understand me? If it's, if this pattern is working in your life, there is no marital progress connection. They will break it. They break it. They break it. I don't want to be fast so that we understand what we are going. Because as we are praying this week, a lot of things happened. Like, I have not slept since yesterday. I went somewhere. I came back. I have not slept. As I want to close one of my eyes, a group of pastors have to call me. We have to pray. Amen, amen. So we have to be careful. The purpose of spirit of pattern in our, you know, the purpose they came is to destroy and kill. To come and steal things away from us. To come and crush people's vision. Destroy homes. They want to destroy churches. If you see the ways of people quiet in the church, so don't get me wrong, oh. I'm not uh, judging anybody. Oh. Like my daddy now, if he's traveling, it's only a person that will play piano. That, that church, they don't play band there, but people don't know. They'll be laughing. Choir in the church will wear trousers. You see the front, sorted. they say they put back a pad. It will make boo -boo -boo come out. Pastor will be looking at it. When he does, he will bring the tea, come up. So we'll be shaking the this thing like this. Pastor will be looking at it. As he's looking at it, he said to Pastor body. Like where me I am, you cannot wear those kind. If you don't want to do choir, that's okay. That is how they come through choir. Through choir, they enter the church. To pull them out is very difficult. They bring spirit of, uh, spirit of you know, people begin to rebel. They begin to rebel, you know, they hold people captive for a very long time, right from their mother's womb. You know, people struggle. They begin to struggle. They begin to struggle, you know. That is, you know, Python spirits seek to put marital chains 
in people's, you know, he will put it, he'll say, this one will not marry you, you not know, marry. I'm not talking about just women, I'm talking about man and woman. You know, Python's, Python's spirit seeks to put spiritual chains on destiny. They put spiritual chains on destiny in the children of God. The spirit of Python will force you to use the properties of the marine. They force people to use the property of marine. Like I said, the Bible said, dress moderate. moderate. When I was inside the world, I dressed so much. I dressed, really dressed. Like some people, they say they want to dress me. I don't know how to dress. It's okay. You understand me? So, we have to be very careful the way we dress. The way we dress matters. That's why sometimes when you are looking for your deliverance, the deliverance will be really hard for you to be really for you to really get the deliverance. You understand me? Like I said, is the source of failure, marital failure, uh, financial failure, setback. What people do with one week, you will do it for years, you will not get it. You know, great man of God, uh, I greet you, may God bless you. Uh, Raphael, God bless you, prophet. You know, so that is how it is. We need to open our eyes. They, they need to open our eyes and not be running after Satan. Amen, amen. Because something with Satan, it will just make it. When he make it, you will just be like real. So we have to be very, very careful. Amen. When a person is possessed by, by pattern spirits, you will see the difference. They will be very, very highly when they say somebody is highly possessed but <coughs> but some people they are very some of them are very quiet you don't notice it depends on the gathering depends on where they want to attack some attack you know to be aggressive some they need to quiet patient before they can attack that is what they are doing the bible said in the book of Exodus. Exodus 7, 10, 12. And Moses and Aaron went into unto Pharaoh's, and they did so as the Lord has commanded them. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, because they are now in Pharaoh's palace. They went there, because Pharaoh has serpent. If they want to keep people at that time, Pharaoh, they want to keep people at that time, they, they bring the poison of the serpent, they use it to poison people, you know. So they went there, they are inside the palace of Pharaoh now. So he now bring out, bring out the sword, everybody was there. He now become a serpent. This was the rod, a man of God now, a prophet, bring out the serpent, and he now become a sword. Sometimes when you are praying for people, you say, let the serpent of God swallow the sacrifice of Satan. They say, what is she saying? What is she saying? I pray that Almighty God will open the eyes of our understanding. You see, it is in the Bible. So he now bring it out. When he bring it out, so that serpent, that rod now turned to a serpent. I now swallow the serpent of, of uh, Pharaoh. Amen? Amen. Despite the power of Pharaoh, God's power on Moses and Aaron swallowed the serpent of the Egyptians. And I pray for you today that the serpent of Almighty God will swallow the serpent of your Pharaoh in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Pharaoh that is pursuing you, the, the serpent of Almighty God will swallow the serpent of that Pharaoh in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, serpent is a stubborn spirit. It's a stubborn spirit. That is why it's really, really hard to, you know, take away from a person. You understand me? So we need to be very, very careful. Sometimes some people, you can just be with a, a serpent, you will not know. There's one person that was entering my page, entering my page, entering my page. That person is a man, is a real serpent. And that person now is a popular person. I will not mention the name. He has a very big church. Now, he's going to be initiating everybody. You understand me? Woman of God, come and pray for my church. Uh, come and uh, 
minister in my church. I say I'm not led. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. Since three years, I'm still praying. I'm not led. I know him when he comes. So we need to be careful. Why some people don't hear from God? God will be talking to you. You don't listen. The things of this world that carry people away. You see how those are shabby? Somebody say, ah, they don't put me for Hashabu for Hashabi. I say, where is Hashabi? I don't know. I'm just looking at them. They want to give you a tie. They want to give you, I'm just looking at them. Where is Hashabi? That's a way Satan is confusing people. You know, there's a way you will dress, you'll be very, very beautiful. In the same, not like masquerading and all that. Those are the power of money. If you are doing it, you have to stop it. Do everything, you know, moderate and, you know, uh -huh. it's good. So that is it. You know, so, and I pray today, I want us to pray. Pray, say, every Pharaoh, every serpent of Pharaoh in my life, serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life. Serpent of God, swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare this minute that the serpent of God will swallow the serpent of Pharaoh in your life this minute, this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Some characteristics of Python spirit and marine spirits. The Python spirit is very demonic, wicked. They have no mercy. They have no mercy. You have to know that they have no mercy. Amen, amen. They have no mercy. So you have to be careful. They attack people mostly through evil foundation. The quickest way they will attack through evil foundation. Because they are already so so the person to them. So they have legal ground. When they say they have legal ground against you, that means your parents have done that. Your, your, your parents' parents have done that. That's why they have that legal ground against you. And I pray for you today. Every illegal ground Satan has against you, I use the blood of Jesus to separate you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, write that down, use it to pray. Amen. When I say write it down, it's very important. Write it down. Every legal ground that Satan has against you, or the blood of Jesus, say, I am separated. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because when you do deliverance, you are still doing all those masquerade. I used to do it before. Don't get me wrong. I used to do it before. You are, you are you are not complete your deliverance. Do it moderately, <laughs> or you are bleaching and all those things. You know, it's not good. Amen. I'm not judging, but some people need to be judged before they can change. You know, like I said, they are they, they attack people mostly for their futile foundation. The spirit of a python can cleverly swallow. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of python. You know what they do? Let me just explain it. What they do, they swallow people glory. They can swallow people glory for a lifetime. If you see that grave, a lot of potentials, everything, I go do, I go do, I go do. People die with their glory. Good potentials. They will just swallow the spirit of pattern. It will swallow that person virtue for a lifetime. Those are the ignorant people. They say they are praying. They are put the devil is just actually sitting in their house. We have prayed like this. Eh? I like people that pray. If I'm praying for you, you don't pray. You are there, I cannot we cannot even we cannot even relate. Because when you come to visit me here, we will pray. Like really prayers. Before you drink, like one of my friends, she used to come here. She's one of the persons that know this place. He said, Let me eat my food before you start. Because you start the food with cold. You understand me? They will they swallow people virtue, their destiny to eternity. Because they are saying it's well. I mean, it doesn't happen. Okay. It doesn't happen. Before I used to tell them, analyze. No, I don't analyze. Again. You know, they attack 
where the light of God was absent. If you are, if you are, your leg is still here, your leg is still there. Oh, you have given them chair, they will operate them. If you really know God, if the Holy Spirit is in you, you know, every deposit they put in your life, when a man of God is praying for you, very easy it will be going out. But when you are still doing that, calling prophet, calling that mama for village, sending people to village, you are just wasting your time. It will not work because you cannot serve God as normal. You know, God said it openly, say, I am a jealous God. Amen, amen. You know, they, imp they imprison and restrict their victims from marriage. When the person is married, they will imprison that marriage, they will be operating inside. And they restrict people. You know what that restrict means? They restrict people from getting married. You know what restriction means? The restriction said, don't go to Toronto. Don't from outside go to anywhere. The person will not pass that place. And I cancel every restriction against your marriage this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. They use marine chain and padlock to chain and padlock different areas of people's life and destiny. They police the temple of people's destiny. True sex, lustful desires. Lustful desires. Uh, I don't know how to say this one in English. Masturbation. I've been on this that they call it. Uh -huh. I preach raw because some people, I don't want to say, yes, God. No, God doesn't lie. Because Jesus Christ, when he's speaking, you know that he's a Jewish man. I use my accent. I know how to speak seriously. I will not do that when I'm doing I cannot pretend when I'm doing the things of God. Amen. They surround a person glory. They surround they, they surrounded a person glory against progress. They surround the person glory. The person will not progress. They program and project evil things into people's life, including animals, objects, different kind of things, sickness. Some people, when you really see people that have problem, one problem or the other, it will be piling up and piling up. Uh -uh. So people are arrested. This is America and Canada here. They are just, they are arrested. They are in one place. They have already anointed them. Anoint them for failure. Anoint them to be in one place. So we need to be careful. They steal precious things from people. Very precious things. They steal it from people. This what how they say, so they say I'm rich, I'm rich. I don't believe it. How are you gonna be rich? You are not well. You think good. God give you money. You your things are moving for you. That is rich. You know. They are from. You know they they have a kingdom. They come and form a kingdom in person's life. Because how they are forming a kingdom in person's life, the person causes like people have said. Because the Bible says, say, out of ignorance, my people are perish. Understand me? So, because of lack of knowledge, right? Uh -huh. So, they are perish. You know. So they come and form a kingdom. They come and live in the person's house. They have it in people's body. They stay in people's body. People actually they have it inside their body. They can get it through sexual intercourse it can move from one body to another it can move from one body to another when you are telling people pray for god to transform you the way he have created you they will be laughing you understand me it's only god that can do that transformation because the thing will enter you are sitting with marine some marine spirits there eh? busy body when they see people like us and they'll just manifest i'll just be looking and be laughing they will know that this is one of the anointed ones. If want to, we want to manifest, manifest. I was praying for somebody on the ladder. So when I pray for you, I say you are amen. Even pastors that are coming, a lot of pastors come for me. I pray for them. You, I'm the one leading this prayer. I say, I'm telling pastors now that is here. You do the leading of the prayer. Because when they are praying along, it's, it's different from when you are raising a prayer point. If I say, sister, raise this prayer point that, I shall get my testimony. For example, I shall get my testimony. I shall get my testimony. The person needs to say amen. When they start to pray along with you, they will not disorganize your spirit. That is when they attack. I was praying with somebody. She started saying, Madam, stop. What I need from you is amen. I know you're a woman of God. What I need from you is amen. Then I start hearing, 
the something started very loud. You know, a serpent is very loud. You know, you know, as a woman of God, you don't need to leave them in that situation. Yeah. So I say, you see, that's how they attack. Since that day, she run from a prayer line, run from every one day. She tell me, a ah, woman of God. Ah, no, no. So that kind of a person, if husband me that kind of person, he will spoil that person's life. Mm -hmm. So pattern spirit swallow all the things people have gathered. You know, some people, they have what they call scattering spirit. What people have gathered, if they already gathered, they will come and scatter it. That is what they are doing. They used to play with destinies. They play with the destinies of their victim. Through seduction, they seduce them. They do all kind of things. They seduce them. Give them things. You know, some girls, they depend that it's man that have to give them things. They make sure the door of deliverance is remain closed forever. <laughs> Excuse me, that's why I read that Bible first for the beginning. When you get your deliverance, then now, you did not maintain your deliverance, they come back. They will make sure that the door of deliverance is closed forever. They allow their victim to stay long in their captive if they do not get deliverance. Until the person is old. Some people, they are still old now. They are still, they are still under the captivity of Satan. Some people, they are dead. They are caused, they, 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 they still arrest them. You know, there's somebody that died in my family a long time ago. Not too long, about four years. I have to travel down to go to the place. Why? Because when they have killed the person, they will go make sure they go to that grave. That person is buried. Sun is covering the person. They make sure that oh, they don't want to turn back so that the person will not get up. That is the way they do. They will follow the person to the grave. See, some people, they died uncelebrated. Where they died all kinds of calamity and scandal and all that. There's one video I was watching today. When I look at it, my heart, I wanted to look for that man. And if I, I can, I can still look for that man. Because I see the power of foundation, marine spirit operating in that man. Somebody sent me that video. Old man that have stayed in long, in another man's country. Went and go and be toasting somebody's wife. They beat him. They naked him. That is the power of marine. Disgrace. This man that I'm telling you, he reached to be my father. If you see that man, you know that foundation has destroyed that man. That kind of a man, I pray I have his contact. So that God can deliver him. That is how Marie operates. They disgrace people. They disgrace people. When they disgrace the person, they disgrace the person, a disgrace that can never be covered. A disgrace that is open. That is the way they disgrace their victim. So we need to be very, very careful. Amen. I just want to charge the battery. I don't want it to remain small before. You know, so that is the way they operate. Amen. Amen. So we need to be careful. Sorry, I just want to do some charging here. Amen. And yes. So they use demotion and bewitchment as arrow to hurt the star of people. They bewitch people. They bring people destiny down. Amen and amen. If you have any question, when we finish, I'll put some minutes, maybe five minutes. I can answer your question and then uh, uh, Sister Obi, uh, Evangelist, she can answer your question too. Over there, which one answer it first? Amen, amen. There's a reason I don't want, I used to enter live video. People call me talking to me for video. There's, a, it's, there's an order that I stop it. You know, they initiate people into spiritual marriage and make them to be spiritual children. All the children they are demons possess. They set up people. They set up, they set up the two people 
to marry. It's a spiritual marriage. That is what they are doing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> People are very quiet too. Don't, don't I don't want you to. If you have any question, tell me. I know some people say, ah, ah, ah. No, don't, don't be afraid. It's good to open, you know. Say I I open now. You open your eyes, you know the way you will tackle your problem. Uh -huh. That's why I'm taking my time to do this. By the power, by the grace of Almighty God. If you think that you have this kind of problem, then start to pray again, marine spirit. You can pray one prayer. Just one prayer, you can pray it. When you start to, when you pray that prayer, you dream that dream, you dream, dream, continue that prayer. You know that he has hit something. He has hit foundation. You understand me? Because God has defeated Satan in the cross. You know? So he has fought all your battles. You know? So do not stop dis displaying your ignorance. God has fought the battle. He has defeated Satan. Jesus Christ himself said, do not stay without pray. Pray without ceasing. Remember when he took his disciples out at night to the guiding? When he said they should watch out for him. They were sleeping. Then when he came by, he said, ah, you cannot even watch out for me for just one hour. You understand me? So he said, pray. So if you say, oh, so, so people say it, they say, I have fought all my battles. If you did not pray, the battle is not, it will not be won. No, you know what? The battle will not be won. It is, we will pray. That is when heaven will receive your attention. So you cannot sit there and say, I have fought all my battle. You have fought all my battle. If you see all those, say, they say, he has broken the gate of brass. It's when you fight, 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 fight for deliverance. You want to use it to conclude. You know, start to sing all those songs. You know you're going to be shaking. You cannot just sit down and say, He has broken the grace of brass. Now lie, you're not going to break. I'm telling you, it will never break. <laughs> so that is how it works. <laughs> it will never break. <laughs> so you have to really pray and get your deliverance. You know, you must exercise the power According to the Luke 10, 19. Always bring your Bible when you are coming here. You know, it says that power according to Luke 19. If not this, if not the serpent, you understand me? Python will continue to bruise the hair in the spirit of the spirit of your born again statues. So you make you people fall into the sin, sin, sin all the time. Everybody come it makes sin. But some people, they will not live. Amen? I pray that you will live. Amen? You know, many people have not moving forward because of this marine spirit. That is the reason they are struggling. They <coughs> Excuse me. Some people, they have stayed in one place. They don't have paper. They don't have money. They don't have husband. They don't have children. It is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. You know, the spirit of Marine have given some people, you know, very of spiritual things that they don't even know how to battle it. You understand me? And hence, so people come to me, I don't even want you to do, even tell me the story. When we start praying, you should that will come and be telling the story when you are seeing things, when the things are manifesting. You know, deliverance can take place when somebody is rescued from bondage and you stick to your deliverance. You did not go back to your old ways. You don't go and be uh, start sending message to Baba. Ah, sister, sister Julie. Ah, I beg go, that, that man for village. Go see him now. All of them are hiding inside us. So you have to be very, very careful. This is the end time. Like I said, don't run, follow them. Now so they see this one. Now so they see this one. Stay in your place. You understand me? Uh -huh. So you have to pray. You have to pray through your deliverance. Before you can see that deliverance, you have to pray to see that uh, deliverance. You know, you have to, it's a very hard job, very hard job, and you have to pray to get it. You must separate yourself from the marine spirit. You must divorce yourself. Intensive fasting and prayer. Amen, amen. You know, an effective way of crushing the serpents is through fervent prayers. Because serpent is very difficult to 
remove. You see what he did to the children of uh, uh, what he did to Adam and Eve. They were driven out of that. They were driven out of the Garden of Eden, and God placed seraphim angels. He placed angels there with a, a sword that they can never enter there. Imagine the disgrace. That is how. That is what he's doing. You understand me? While praying to crush the serpent, you can also avoid to pray like a gentle man or a gentle lady. Eh. Die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. One of your eyes in the television, die by fire. One of your eyes in the phone, die by fire. You are thinking of what they told you. Uh -huh. All your problem, no. When you are really saying, you know, you need to really pray. When you pray, they know that you are not serious because they are there. You understand me? They are there looking at you. It's a spiritual thing. You know? You have to violate. You know, be violent. You have to be very, very violent in your spirit. Very aggressive. What they call holy anger. God has not given you the power, you know, the spirit of fear. God has given you the power to tremble upon serpents, scorpions, snakes. Amen? You know, so let me quickly say the signs and wonders, how all the signs you will know. You already know the signs, like people that have been following me. So living a, deceit, a deceptive life, some signs, a person on that pattern spirit and marine spirit, some signs that will make you to know. Having feeling of being wished or monitored. Some people, they can really be monitoring them. Some people, they will see that, hey, God is coming, oh. this one is coming, oh. a lot of people. I, love, I know people that are not driving car in this country. They even called this country before me. They are not driving car. They are so afraid in their house. They cannot sleep. They feel that somebody is monitoring them. When you are always attached to, you know, you, you, are, always, you are you almost attracted to married people. Married woman, married man, wrong people. Uh, it's attracted to you all the time. You say true man of God, what is that? You know, God bless you, Mama. Uh, lovely FA. You know, you always at the wrong people always attracted to you. After you have wasted your effort, something will come and happen. Those are the uh, the because. May I have prayed, so I have prayed. The marine that is constrained that took me. I saw it. Hi, take chain everybody. I saw it. It's prayer. So if you are somebody like me, be prayer. They'll come and beat me. They'll come and beat me. They'll come and. I'm not afraid because I know that God is watching over me. Remember when they went to war? It was through David. They say, "Are ah, they afraid? They're afraid?" Though God was saying that even at the time of Ezekiel, God is it to say God opened their eyes to see. When they opened their eyes, the army with God army that were with them that were not seen. It's more than the army that is coming. Don't let Satan deceive you. Don't let prosperity pastor deceive you. If you are not delivered, you have the money. All the money will crush. That money, like somebody that is sick, you are not delivered. The person is still sick. When the, what is deliverance? Is to remove you from the presence of darkness. Remove you from the presence of Mary. I'll preach that one another day. You know? Like when you are attracted to wrong people all the time. Even ordinary friendship, ordinary friend, you know, it's a magnet. When you are in one spot for many years, you are in one spot for many years, you are not moving. They have already anointed the person. We have, have, we have prayed that prayer before. When you often see snakes appearing in your dreams, when your relationship don't always lead to marriage, I'm talking about man and woman, relationship don't always lead to marriage, something happened. This must happen. You know, when you are pursuing a particular thing for many years without a solution. When something often falls down off your hands, you know, you put something always fall down from your hand. There's already a spirit of fear they planted inside. When you swim in the river in your dreams, when you are older than your age, you see small girls, small boys, very old. It's a problem that bring that 
is the power of darkness that caused that. They can actually enter somebody, you'll be looking at this person, they say, man, but you're having, you know, you have to be careful. When promise and fail are too much in your life. People, they have promised them so they, they don't have any, they, they have not even fulfilled one promise, people that promise them. When you marry a person only to discover it was a mistake. You have already married the person you discover it's a mistake. That is the hardest bondage so far. You see some ministers that are married before they enter ministry. They will be praying to God. Oh, Father, anything that is not good in my life, remove it. Oh, Father, anything that is not good in my life, remove it. Anything that is not good in my life, remove it. I'll call you back, man of God. I mean, uh, um, um, you know, when they are praying, Oh, Father, anything that is not good in my life, remove it, remove it, remove it. Whatever that is not good in my life, Father, Lord, of it. They are praying against their father, or their wife, or their, their husband. This is what we are seeing. When you see pastor pray, like they will just be laughing. Because actually, if you see some pastors, their wife, a pastor's wife is a calling. To be a pastor's wife is a calling. To be a pastor's husband is a calling. You understand me? Some people, they go and marry, marry, so it will destroy the ministry. You understand me? When you keep hearing strange voices, when you are a fornicator, sex before marriage, when you are always living a lonely life, that one is not good. When all siblings are married, then you are the one still behind, still looking for. When things are working against you, you wanted to do good things that things are working against you. When you have feeling of killing yourself and others, by suicide, people they have suicide all the time. That is the power because they already you you know why that will always come. They already use the person. They don't have the need. They don't have the need of the person. So what they will just do is just to end the person's life so that you know. So they know that when somebody died. It will not, uh, God will not, that person will not enter heaven. It's the Bible that says it, not me. So people that have unforgiving spirits and negative attitude, because they, Satan knows that when you forgive, forgive, leave the matter for heaven. You understand me? If, if you forgive, it doesn't matter that heaven leave the person. It doesn't matter that God leave the person. But God say, leave the person, let me deal with it. You understand me? You know, it's very hot. Some people can hurt you, eh? Some people can hurt you so deeply. But say, Father, Father, help me. Forgive. Help me to forgive. Father, love help me. Forgive. Live, begin to go. When you forgive them, you see, the Bible is not me. You understand me? Which one, if you are good to your enemy, you are putting a cause of fire in their head. Go and search it, what that means. Because God wants you to forgive them. And as you forgive them, you are putting a cause of fire in their head. You understand me? That is what it means. So we are going to start to bombard the heaven right now. I want us to start pra praising God. Praising God for your deliverance. Be thanking Him for your deliverance. Before this series is going to be longer. Because I want us to be done with it. So that... We, we will know what we are doing. If we still have another message that God brings for us, then we will go, then we start again. Amen. So open your heart right now. Forgive people that offended you. Leave yourself. Leave yourself. Leave yourself. Let Holy Spirit take control. Let Holy Spirit take control. Just leave yourself. Say, Father, Lord, whatever I have lost through my rebellion, Father, Lord, Restore them. Forgive me and restore them. Just be telling God what you want. Tell God what you want before we pray. Okay? Remove every distraction. Remove it. See what God is going to do for you. We'll start praying. Yes, Father, have mercy. Forgive us. As we are going to start to pray, Father Lord, have mercy. Have Father Lord, let our prayers be sweet to come to your throne. Yes, you are.
Father, Lord. Hey. Father, Lord, you are Lord over the serpentine spirit. You crush the head of the serpent. Most high. Father, Lord, you are great. The head of the serpent, you crush it. Father, Lord, I decree and declare this minute because you are the God that has served. And that God that has served, I'm introducing him to you again. His name is Jesus Christ. J-E-S-U-S. The Son of God. He crushed the head of the serpent. He do it for you. So take dominion already this minute. Take dominion this minute, children of God. Possess your possession. Possess your possessions this minute. Remove distractions. It's the same God of yesterday and today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are doing self deliverance here. Father, Lord, deliver us from this foundational serpent. Some people they have what they call Osu. Osu, that's what they call it where I came from. If you know what they call it in your village, write it there. We're going to be addressing them. What they call it in your place, put it, we're going to be addressing them. Oh, the most I got. Hey. See they love. Hey, Riba Basandara. See they love. What they call snake in your village. I'm not afraid. Oh, they love. Put it there. We're going to be addressing them. Most I To the end, there's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. Beginning to the end, just place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. <laughs> what did they say they call it for your village? Oh, yeah, oh, so. Oh, God. Oh, so. Oh, so what? O S U O S U K R A L I. Okay, uh, 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 okay, so not carely. <laughs> oh, so not carely. We address you right now. We address you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you now to lose your hold from this family in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to leave this family in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power of Osuno Karele, I command you now to burn to ashes this minute. I command you to burn to ashes this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your head to be crushed this minute. I command your head to be crushed this minute because my father, Jesus Christ, J-E-S-U-S, have crushed your head in the cross of Calvary. There is no negotiation here. I command your head to be cut off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your head to be crushed off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power, every serpentine that is hiding on this I command you now to lose your hold right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is giving you strength, I command that strength now to fail you in the mighty name of Jesus. Foundational serpent, lose your hold this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Osun, I command you now to lose your hold right now. Lose your hold right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I summon you this minute because there is no negotiation here. I know you can't hear me because you follow this person here. I command you to lose your grip now. Lose your hold this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to write it. Let disgrace Satan. Begin to write it. We want to make Satan a public show today. Amen. Amen. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every osu, I command them now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pot that that osu is coming out, I command that pot to be broken now. I command the water to dry up in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh yes, thank you Lord. Right now, you're going to pray that Almighty God should, some people they don't even know how to spell the serpent of their family. That is the problem now. For my husband village, it's called wash that is some oh oh su no winner raba baba sitaraba oh su no winner hey oh su no winner i address you right now i address you right now in the name of jesus i address you right now with the name of the one that sent me here did i pronounce it well oh su no winner i think i've heard that before it's a riverine area. Yes, I think I've heard that before. If I pronounce it well, right? Every Osuno winner, I address you this minute. I separate this family away from you right now. I separate this family away from you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your water to dry up right now. I set fire on the on the bush that you are coming from. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bruise your head right now. I bruise your head right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, this family are separated right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, this family are separated right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are not your candidate. And I command you this minute to lose your hold. Lose your hold this minute right now. Lose your hold this minute right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot reside in their home. From that bloodline, this family, they are separated right now with the blood of Jesus. Every seal from you, do so soon winner, against this family, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now in the name of Jesus. I command you to lose your hold this minute. Lose your hold right now. Like I said, I don't have there's no negotiation no lose your hold this minute and i crush off your head in the mighty name of jesus i'm doing that with the power that my father jesus christ has given to me i crush off your head now i set you on fire every x that you have laid in this foundation i set those eggs on fire and your agent in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I know some people they cannot pronounce it. Too. I don't want to want. I don't want to invite anybody for a video. So we want to pray. We want to purge your foundation. Why? What is that? You are purging your foundation. You purge everything out of that foundation. Whatever that is not good, you're going to purge it out of that foundation. You say, Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to tell Holy Ghost fire to purge your foundation with the rod of fire right now, this minute, this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the, with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, purge my foundation with the rod of fire. Purge my foundation with the rod of fire. Purge my foundation. Purge my foundation. Purge my foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that Holy Ghost fire will purge your foundation with the rod of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will begin to plead the blood of Jesus over yourself right now. Say, I cover my body, my soul with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover with the blood of Jesus right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever God has not planted there, use the word the blood of Jesus 
wash it away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I use the blood of Jesus to wash it away. I use the blood of Jesus to wash it away. I use the blood of Jesus to wash it away in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to pray now because a lot of people, the spirit of serpent have bite them, have bite them spiritually, bite their destiny. They are spitting in their destiny. We're going to pray. You see, every serpent, every serpent spirit uh, that have bite my, that have bite me, that have bite my, that, that have bite my uh, uh, destiny, I command you not to be eliminated this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Serpentine spirit that is biting my destiny. I command you not to receive fire right now. I command you not to receive the fire of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Any serpentine spirit that is biting my destiny, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpentine destiny that is biting your virtues, I command them not to receive fire right now. I command them not to receive fire right now. I command them not to begin to bite themselves right now. Begin to bite yourself. Begin to bite yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to bite yourself this minute. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll close very soon. It's, the time is not... Uh, we enter at 3 o'clock. Yeah. It's uh, 4.34 now. Okay. So you're going to pray right now. You say, let the blood receive. You say, by the blood of Jesus... I receive deliverance from serpentine spirit. I receive deliverance. I receive deliverance from every attack of the marine. By the blood of Jesus, I, rec I, I receive deliverance right now for the power of darkness. For marine word, I receive deliverance. 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 For the power of darkness, I receive deliverance. I receive deliverance from the marine kingdom. I receive deliverance. I receive deliverance. I receive deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive your deliverance this minute. Receive your deliverance by the blood of Jesus. Receive the blood of Jesus. Be believe, receive, the, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have to pray against strangers of darkness. Strangers of darkness. They have what they call strangers of darkness. They don't know you before. They have already given them your address to evade you. They already given you, giving them your address. Those are the strangers. They come, they just strike the leaf. They come, they strike the leaf. You say, strangers of darkness, what are you doing in my life, in my possessions? Come out now and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stranger in my life, every stranger in my destiny, every stranger in my house, every stranger in, in, in my office, wherever you are, you are hiding in my body, I command you now to come out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stranger in your life, I command them now to come out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil stranger, every stranger for the power of darkness that have walked into your life, I command that stranger to die. I command that stranger to come out and die. I command that stranger to come out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stranger that have come into your life, I command that stranger to come out and die. I command that stranger to come out and die. Come out and die now. Come out and die now. Come out and die now. Come out and die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> I'm praying this one. I'm going to pray for person, one person here again. I declare and declare this morning that every stranger in your life, in your body, in your business, in your marriage, in your career, in your household, in your elevation, I command that stranger now to cash fire this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen with thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus. A woman of God, you see, enter. I, I thought you said you're going somewhere today. You see, enter. God bless you, man. God bless you, mommy. Amen. So, go to pray. You say, Queen of the coast, hear the word of the Lord. Lose your hold over my destiny. 
lose your hold over my destiny, lose your hold over my de my, my household, and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Queen of the coast, lose your hold over my destiny, over my household, over my business, over my papers, over my children, and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this one very well, because Queen of the Coast is the one that is giving orders. Say, Queen of the Coast, hear the word of the Lord. Lose your hold over my destiny, lose your hold over my life, over my marriage, over my finances, over my papers, over, over everything that concerns me. I command you now to lose your hold. Lose your hold in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now this minute. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. You queen of course. I command you now to lose, lose your hold right now. Lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in jesus name i pray amen amen in the mighty name of jesus amen. so you're going to pray right now that all your virtues all your things that this python has swallowed they are going to vomit it and die amen amen so all my stolen marital virtue all my all my property that you have you you you, you have you, you swallow in your belly i command you now to vomit it and die in the mighty name of jesus because those things they hide it in their belly they make sure that the person did not use it say every of my stolen virtues that you are you have swallowed i command you now to vomit it and die i command you now to vomit it and die in the mighty name of jesus vomit it and die now vomit it and die in the mighty name of jesus vomit it and die in the mighty name of jesus every of my virtues that you have swallowed i command you now to submit it and die i command now to submit it and die in the mighty name of jesus if they swallow your wife swallow your husband swallow your children swallow everything that concerns you nothing will move nothing will move begin to say whatever you have swallowed in my life i command you not to vomit it and die vomit it and die my career that you have swallowed vomit it and die my finances you have swallowed vomit it and die everything that you have swallowed in my life vomit it and die in jesus name we pray amen so we're going to pray against every foundational serpent that is working against your favor working against your elevation amen amen we're going to pray you say every every authority you say by the authority in the blood of jesus i crush every every foundational serpent working against my marital life working against my destiny working against my papers working against my health I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. By the authority and power of Almighty God, every foundational serpent, I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people, they are afraid to ride the, the serpent in their village. They are afraid. They don't want us to address it. Release yourself. Amen. Amen. And I pray this minute uh, with the authority and the power of Almighty God. Every foundational serpent is crushed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That serpent, uh, that foundational serpent that is working against your favor is crushed this minute. Is crushed this minute. Is crushed this minute. Is crushed this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Is crushed this minute. Is crushed this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. You that serpent spirit, you are crushed forever. You are crushed forever. You are crushed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to pray against stubborn marine spirit spouse, 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 whatever, you know. We're going to pray against it this minute. You say, you stubborn marine spouse, be separated 
away from me by fire. Be separated away from me by fire, by the blood of Jesus. I separate myself. I divorce you. I separate myself. I divorce you. I separate myself. I divorce you. You that marine stubborn spouse. I, I divorce you. I divorce you. I divorce you. I divorce you. I separate myself. 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 I divorce you. I separate myself and I divorce you this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You're going to pray against every serpent that is attacking your progress all the time. They come attack people's progress. Say, you serpentine attacking my progress. I crush your head now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I crush your head now. You serpentine, serpentine foundation, Marie serpentine, wherever that you are coming from, that is attacking my progress. I crush your head now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I crush your head. I crush your head now. I crush your head. I crush your head in the mighty name of Jesus. I crush your head. I crush your head. I crush your head. I crush your head. I crush your head now in the mighty name of Jesus. I crush your head now i crush your head now i crush your head now in jesus name we pray amen and amen in the mighty name of jesus amen say my son name is koloka and the place of my man say ha no who do matali now ha who no do matali yeah a woman of god will be addressing this we're gonna address it now in the mighty name of jesus father in the mighty name of jesus Father, Lord, we are addressing every power from her, her neighborhood, mortality, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus in South Africa. Father, Lord, that place we soak it with the blood of Jesus. We, we soak it with your blood now. We soak it with your blood. We soak it with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power from that ground, from that village, from that town that is working against my prophet uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll put them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, decree and declare this minute, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, with your blood we cleanse that place. With your blood we cleanse that place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power there that is seeking for blood that is demoted the children of that bloodline i command you not to bury yourself i command you not to bury yourself in the mighty name of jesus you will never rise again in this family you will never rise again in this family you will never rise again in this family i silence you this minute i silence you this minute in the mighty name of jesus you will never raise your head again you will never raise your head again you will never raise your head again in the mighty name of jesus there is no second time that we come for you. This is your last chance uh, and I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you not to lose your hold away from my prophetess in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name I have prayed. Amen and amen in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Receive your deliverance woman of God. May God bless you. Amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. So separate yourself. Now you're going to separate yourself from ancestral covenant. With water spirit, the covenant of your father, so that covenant they have made. Some people see this that is a child play. It's not a child play. Say, I separate myself. I separate my house. So you cannot separate the whole family. Face yourself now. Your household, your immediate family. Face it now. If you have the power, okay, you still pray to deliver them. Amen. Amen. Say, I separate myself from every ancestral covenant with water spirit uh, by the blood of Jesus. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself from every ancestral covenant of water spirit. Uh, I separate myself now. I separate myself now. I separate myself now. Release me. Release my household and let me go. Release me and cash fire and die. Release me, cash fire and die. Release me, cash fire and die in Jesus' name. And I pray today, every covenant of ancestral powers, uh, Every covenant your forefather has made long time ago that you don't know. Covenant for your foundation. As far as you are here today, you are doing this self-deliverance for yourself. I command that covenant to be broken. 
I command that covenant to be broken in the name of Jesus. That covenant that is setting causes setback in your life. I command that covenant to be broken, to be broken now, to be broken this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. That covenant is broken, is broken this minute by fire, by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. That covenant is broken right now. That covenant is broken right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. Every covenant that your forefathers made uh, that is working against you, right now that is working against your children, that covenant is broken. It is broken by fire of the Holy Ghost. It is broken in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We might enter here early tomorrow because there is no church. You know, everywhere is locked. I might enter early tomorrow so that we can cover some areas. Amen. 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 So go to pray. I pray for you. I'm praying this for you. Every of your marriage, every of your mat materials that is in the marine world, in any altar. You know, in, uh, in Africa, they, when they, they plant some children, navel on a tree, they say the tree will be growing. When they, when, you know, it happens in Africa, when they have a baby, they put some, uh, uh, love you, my dear, I mean, uh, God bless you. They, they put some uh, things in the water to bath the baby. You know, different, different things. You know, whatever they have taken from you, whatever they have taken from you, any of your possessions, any of your things that's in the marine world, in that altar, in that uh, also no winner, whatever it is, I don't know them. And I command it now to cash fire right now in the the ones that need to come back and locate you right now, I command them to begin to locate you. Locate the rightful owner right now. Locate the rightful owner right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow they have shot against you from the marine world, from witchcraft powers, from the waters that is working against you, those arrows they have fired into your life that is causing different things in your life, that arrow now, I command now to return back to sender by the blood of Jesus. Return back to sender, evil arrow from the marine kingdom. Return back to sender right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Return back to sender. Return back to sender. Return back to sender. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray like that man I was talking about. It's still disturbing me. I wish the man can actually come up. I don't know how I'm going to find the man. This man is a disgrace. They put on him in the marine world. When you look at it, you know that this man is possessed. Woman of God, I'll post this video to you later. Remind me. I mean, Sister we I'll post this video to you. This man, they just put this disgrace on him. If you see this man, you know that is is helpless. You know, that kind of thing. You know, when I saw this man, it really pains me. You know, this man need a deliverance. You know, Amen. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. You're gonna pray this one with your mouth. You say every witchcraft serpent sent to disgrace me, rose to death by fire. In the name of Jesus, rose to death. Whatever you want to happen to that man, begin to that, that uh, marine powers, uh, that serpent, strong man marine, strong woman marine, begin to say it right now. Say every witchcraft serpent sent to disgrace me, rose to death by fire of the Holy Ghost, rose to death by fire of the Holy Ghost. Every wish rat serpent that has sent to disgrace me, that has sent to give me open disgrace, uh, I command you not to roast to death. Uh, I command you not to roast to death. Uh, I command you not to roast to death in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you not to roast to death right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare every marine power, every serpentine power that has sent to disgrace you, that has sent to give you open disgrace, uh, I command you not to roast to death, roast to death, roast to death. Rose to death, rose to death, rose to death, rose to death, rose to death now, rose to death now, rose to death now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Marine disgrace is not your portion. Marine disgrace is not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, every garment of disgrace, I tear it off right now. I command now to cash fire, cash fire now, cash fire now, cash fire now, cash fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Cash fire now, cash fire now, cash fire now in Jesus' name. We pray amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Le popo setaraba ma karabo sunto. And I pray for you this minute. Uh, every serpent that is hiding in your house, uh, I command them to receive the lighty thunder of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent hissing, they are hissing, spitting in your destiny. Eating and spitting in your virtue. I command them now to swallow fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them to die with their points in this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. With the hammer of God, I break the head of every water strong man and strong woman in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every problem that have come into your life through the contact of marine spirit, I command them now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive solution now. Receive solution now. Receive solution now in the mighty name of Jesus. Le popo sitaraba. Any pattern that is bearing children in your destiny, that is still bearing children in your foundation. Still bearing children, bearing all kind of things in your foundation. I command them and the children to receive fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That place is not their house. They cannot start to lay eggs and the and, and start uh, to bear children there. They are their children and their agents. I command them now to receive fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive fire of the Holy Ghost this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strange eyes uh, of pattern spirit. Uh, that is monitoring you, that is monitoring you up and down. I command that eye now to receive permanent blindness, receive permanent blindness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent poison in your life, they have used to poison you that is causing sickness, causing mark all kind of problem in your life. With the blood of Jesus, I command it now to flush out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So we're going to pray this one. Lastly, I wait for it's going to pray in the name of Jesus. You know, every trace of marine worship, every trace of marine worship in your family lineage with a, that is on your in your bloodline, I command it now to be disconnected. Be disconnected this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Be disconnected. I disconnect you now. I disconnect you now. I disconnect you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every covenant that have deformed you, that have paralyzed all your progress, I command that covenant now to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pattern that they have sent her, to come and destroy you. I command the head of that serpent now to be crushed. Every serpent that is in sin in your house, in your family house, see taking possession, see taking dominion in your family house. As I pray this minute, I go into your village right now with the power of the Holy Spirit. I command all those serpents now to receive fire right now. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. Begin to soak them and bring them out and let them cash fire. Bring them out and let them cash fire. Even in my house, go to my own foundation. I'm not excluded. La korobo se taraba. Blood of Jesus begin to soak them and bring them out now. In the mighty name of Jesus begin to soak them. He rebe be 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 si karaba. He santorobo katalaba. Rekete senta. Mari bobo zintaraba. He. He. Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your blood begin to soak them right now. In the name of Jesus. Hey, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. 
You are a liar. Soak you with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Begin to soak them right now. Everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit. It's only you that can be in the same place, uh, different places at the same time. Begin to soak their houses right now. Begin to soak their foundation right now. Bring them out, chase them out. As they are coming and let them begin to receive fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them begin to receive fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them begin to receive fire this minute. We soak them with the blood of Jesus. I cancel every familiar spirit this minute. Father Lord, let your blood begin to... Father Lord, open the eyes of someone here. Let them see what I'm saying. Let them see what I'm saying in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let them see what I'm seeing right now. Open their eyes. As your blood is soaking in their foundation. As the serpent is running out. As your fire is burning the hell. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey! Let them begin to chase out right now. Come out. Come out from where you are hiding from. Hey! Hey! You don't know that it's there. They are marching it and passing. They are there. They are there for a long time. A shed serpentine. Come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer with me wherever you are. Say, blood of Jesus, begin to soak my foundation. My father's house, my mother's house, begin to soak it now with the blood of Jesus. Chase them out. As they are coming and let your fire begin to burn them. Let your fire begin to burn them. Let your fire begin to burn them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire begin to burn them. Let your fire begin to burn them. Let your fire begin to burn them. Chase them out. 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 Chase them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to chase them out. Yes, they cannot. They cannot resist the blood of Jesus. Hey, they cannot resist the blood of Jesus. Begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out. They are, they are hiding places in the wood. Uh, the one they dig in the ground. Uh, the one that is coming from Porter. Uh, the one that is coming from that altar. The one that they used to lay the foundation of that house. Begin to bring them out. Begin to bring them out in this minute. Uh, begin to bring them out. Hey, Papa. Holy Ghost, bring them up, bring them out this minute, chase them out. We soak their foundation and my foundation too, and my foundation too. We soak them with the blood of Jesus. I soak my foundation with the blood of Jesus. Serpentine spirit, my father's side, my mother's side. I soak it right now with the blood of Jesus. You that serpentine spirit that will be operated there for a long time. Your time is up. Come out and cash fire. Come out and cash fire. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Come out and cash fire now. Come out and cash fire now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let me stop. Because if we continue, it's not going to finish. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. The last prayer I'm going to pray today. Woman of God, great woman of God from Toronto. Uh, please put this one on the prayer line. That follow, follow marine spirit that is causing problem. Causing problem, downfall, failure in your life. Say, I command you now to cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every follow, following marine serpent, sap, uh, marine serpent, their agent that is following me up and down, that is causing me promise and fail. I command you now to cash fire and die. Cash fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Cash fire and die. Cash fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Cash fire now. Cash fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you now to cash fire. Cash fire and die. Cash fire and die. Cash fire this minute and die in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you. I pray for you from my heart. From my belly, I pray for you this minute. 
that follow foreign marine spirit that is causing you promise and fail, that is holding good things that is coming for your hand, a coming to you, that is holding your testimony, that is destroying your breakthrough. I command them not to lose their hold, cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your hold and cash fire, lose your hold and cash fire this minute, this hour, this time, these days in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, any power that wants to rise this night, that wants to attack anyone here, you that power, I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. You that snake, you that cobra, I soak you with the blood of Jesus. 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 I soak you right now. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Thank you for this great deliverance today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The great I am that I am. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me quickly pray for our partners. They are not forgotten. May God bless you. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you today in the name of Jesus for the power of every serpentine spirit in your foundation. May your heaven open in the name of Jesus. May your breakthrough be announced from heaven today in the name of Jesus. Every power, every anointing of paycheck to paycheck, I cancel this minute in the name of Jesus. Receive, receive your blessing, receive your dominion in the name of Jesus. Possess your possessions right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. With thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. If you want to bless us, you can contact her sister who wishes she's right there. Contact her if you want to partner with us. Whatever God lay your heart, your heart and God will surely bless you. It's not an obligation. We are not obligating anyone. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. We are going to uh, shout one deliverance. Hallelujah. One deliverance. Hallelujah. We're going to shout it right now in the name of Jesus. I'm giving you a prayer point before we shout that hallelujah. Because this is just a new prayer point I just got from the Holy Spirit. He said, Father, soak my foundation with the blood. Soak my foundation with your blood. Soak my foundation with your blood. Soak my foundation with your blood. Whatever that needs to be uprooted, uproot it. Woman of God, join this one to the prayer line. God bless you. Ma, you say, soak my foundation with your blood. Or put every serpentine spirit, whatever that I've been used to lay that foundation that is not of God. Father, I soak my foundation with your blood. Or put it in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Oh, yes, oh, yes. So, one of shout one deliverance. Hallelujah. Oh, I forgot to bring one tambourine from car. He said, I soak my foundation with the blood of Jesus. Amen. So one deliverance, hallelujah, we're going to shout right now. Deliverance, hallelujah. Remember, when the, is the, one, the, war, the war of Jericho to fall down, they begin to shout, say shout around it. Then the war of Jericho begin to fall down. Tambourine was going on, different things was going on. Dancing, you know, when, you know, in those days when the children of God are delivered, they dance. David is example, he dance, he will tear his shirt, he will dance. You know, the woman that laughed at him, that woman, you know, that woman died. So that is what we're going to be praying. Amen and amen. Don't tell me that this charger that I just bought is not good anymore. Amen and amen in the name of Jesus. Okay, I did not plug it. Amen. Amen. I'll plug it later. We'll just start now. Amen. So we're going to shout one deliverance. The one hallelujah deliverance. Hallelujah deliverance. We're going to shout it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. One, two, three, four, go. Hallelujah. Yeah, I am delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am delivered in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell 
in the house of the living God forever and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Let us begin to thank God. I congratulate you today. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have been delivered. God has done a great thing in your life today. I pray that God will open your eyes this night to say things. Amen and amen. Begin to thank this King of Kings. Begin to thank this great God. A God that never fell. Let us begin to thank him right now. Begin to thank him. Begin to say, Father Lord, we thank you. Oh yes, begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Father Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you. King of kings, we thank you. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him in the name of Jesus. We will enter early tomorrow. We will enter early tomorrow because there's no church tomorrow. Amen. You are the living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? Begin to thank him. Oh yes, so oh yes, so oh yeah, begin to thank him. The love of God. Oh, oh thank you. Oh yes. Oh God, touch me, thank you too, Lord. Begin to thank him, brother. Begin to thank him for what he did today. Begin to worship him. Begin to thank this God. He has done enough. Begin to thank him. Thank him in advance for more that he's going to do in your life. May God bless you. God will bless you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. we we'll see tomorrow. we we'll see tomorrow. We're going to come early. I know you're going to be home. Because uh, there's no church tomorrow. We're going to try to enter early so that the mothers can cook for the children and everything. You, can, you know, may God bless you all. I really love you from the bottom of my heart. I really love what I'm doing. And I'm happy that you are taking this extra mile for yourself. And I pray that Almighty God will do wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. Please continue to pray for me. Pray for my ministry. I'm a human being too. <laughs> you know, pray for me. Pray for my ministry. And God will surely bless you. I have to go now. God bless you. Bye-bye.